So I haven't made a tutorial in the last 10 days or so, and the reason for that is I've been working on Curvify, which is my new asset pack that you draw a curve and it makes pretty much anything. So uh, yes, this is a promotion for Curvify, but I thought, let me show you how to make one of the assets that I was making uh, for this. Specifically, how do you make hedges out of curves? So uh, that's gonna be in the asset pack. Check it out in the description if you're interested. Number one on Blunder Market, actually. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna delete everything and start with a curve. And that's how I make all these projects. I start with a curve. The name of the game is taking this curve and turning it into a hedge that you can make it into a hedge maze or whatever. Uh, to do this, I'm gonna take the curve and add some resolution. And I wanna turn this into kind of like a path with thickness, kind of like a band. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. To do that, I want to, first of all, resample the curve, because right now it just has two points. So I'm gonna resample it by length. And then I'm going to extrude it, and masters of the geometry nodes will know that's not gonna work because it's a uh, curve object. So curve to mesh, and then we extrude it, but we extrude the edges. Now, you're gonna see that it is actually, technically it's offsetting uh, along the normals, uh, but it kind of looks weird. Uh, the reason for this is because we started off with a Bezier curve with uh, two points. So here's a quick fix for fixing our normals. What I'm going to do is I'm going to capture an attribute, a vector, and make that a normal. So I'm capturing the normals of the resampled curve. Connect that, and now we have something that looks a bit better. Now, uh, you could be done with that. Uh, however, you're going to notice that the curve is here and the mesh is here, so it's kind of like on this top line. I want it to be centered, so I need to do a bit of an offset. To do that, anytime we want to change the position of something, uh, we use a set position node, and we want to offset it by the normals, but uh, in the other direction. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to scale it by a value that I'm going to multiply by or divide by negative two. We'll see if that's the case. Connect that here and then connect this here. And now we have it, there we go. We have something that's uh, perfectly centered. If you look at the, um, I guess it doesn't really show the curve. If you look at the curve and then this, it's perfectly centered. And this is a technique I use for a lot of these uh, geo node things. So the reason this works is we're taking our initial curve, we're offsetting it by half as much as we're extruding, uh, which puts it in the middle, right? If this was set to negative one, it would be off and we'd have the opposite problem, okay? So I'm gonna take this mesh and I'm gonna extrude that based on faces. So now we're going into the Z dimension and you can see how this is already going to make our hedges. So if I was to draw more curves now, it's gonna make this kind of like hedge maze type thing. But what I wanna do is make it so that there's leaves and stuff like that. So what I did at this point, you, there's two ways to do this. I'm gonna show you the fast way. Uh, distribute points on faces. I'm gonna uh, add a bunch of leaves to this. This is the fast way because it's adding points to the surface of this. Technically, there should be leaves inside the mesh, in which case you wanna do mesh to volume and then points inside volume. But uh, this is good enough for the purposes of this tutorial. And that's what I actually did for this uh, hedge product because it saves like, you know, 90% on render time. So we add a bunch of points and for each of those, we want to instance a leaf. But where is our leaf? Well, if you see over here, I have a, a leaf thing and uh, I'll make that available on Patreon. Uh, for those of you that are patrons, this project file is gonna be uploaded there. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the import images as planes add-on that will let me import in an image like this leaf and it should uh, already give us transparency and all of that. Perfect. Uh, what's going on under the hood is it's taken our image, passed it through the color and set our alpha uh, through the alpha. That gives us transparency. So what we can do now is in the Bezier curve. So this is gonna be hedge. What I can do is I can distribute this object because this is a leaf object. So object info, distribute the leaf, hide the original leaf. 
And you can see uh, we have this very kind of weird looking thing. It's because it's too big and the uh, rotation is the same everywhere. So I'm going to start by randomizing the rotation, going from negative pi to pi. That's the full range of possibilities in terms of radians. And then in terms of scale, we need to make it smaller, but I want it to be scaled uniformly. So I'm going to use a float, which means it's going to be the same on x, y, and z. And I'm just going to bring down the scale to something, to something uh, like this. And it shouldn't be at zero, maybe at smallest it could be 0.1. But this still looks a bit big. Let's bring this down to 0.14 and then 0.14 divided by two. Okay. And to really see what this looks like, I feel like uh, we should probably be using cycles with an HDRI. I just don't want this to end up looking hollow, which is I feel like what's going on here. So I'm just gonna add an HDRI to see if the light kind of passes through it. Uh, let's use one of these outdoor HDRIs. And you can see it definitely kind of looks like a hedge but there's definitely more work we can do to it. So I think uh, one thing we can do is uh, you can kind of peek through this, not by much, but if I increase the particle count, you can see it actually increases the number of instances here. It makes it less uh, easy to see through it. And uh, yeah, there we go. So, so far what we have is we can control the thickness of this hedge. We can control the height of this hedge and it will procedurally generate the amount of leaves and the density. Uh, right here and we can change the seed for this. Um, so that is kind of like a hedge in itself. So if I was to draw like something like that, I guess that curve had a pretty sharp turn. You don't want to have sharp turns. So something like this can create, you, you can see how you can create a hedge maze here. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to add a bit of variety to these leaves so they don't all look the same. So in shading for the leaf object, what I'm going to do how do I want to do this? Here's what I'm going to do. For the leaf object, I'm going to use an object info node and set it to random, which is going to give us a different, you can see it's giving us a different value for each of these planes. What I can do is I can mix them with color. I can mix this input by uh, this amount and maybe set it to multiply. So let's see what this looks like. So if I view it here, probably better to look at it through uh, cycles. So as I increase this, we get more variety in our leaves. So here you can see it's all kind of very vibrant. And as we increase this, some of them are light, some of them are dark. And I think that adds a good amount of variety and realism. So I'm just gonna set this to 50%. So before, after. Um, if you wanted to be fancy about this uh, and actually see the difference, what you could do is you could mix like a color. So now you have hedges that are like have some red leaves and some uh, green leaves. I'm actually going to do this for orange because I feel like that's actually a pretty realistic color. And that alone adds quite a bit of realism. So before, too perfect, and then after. Uh, so now let's make a quick hedge maze. So I'm just going to go into edit mode because remember this is all curve and delete this. I'm gonna draw something here, something here, and you can see how we can very quickly prototype a uh, maze, an inescapable maze. Let's have it have one exit in the corner. And you can uh, totally grab certain points and like move them like this. And then from the perspective of the viewer, you'd be inside here trying to escape the hedge. Again, you can make the leaves smaller if they feel like too big. Um, but there you go. That is how I made hedges uh, procedurally. So uh, thank you for watching. And again, uh, Blend File is gonna be available on Patreon and more so uh, the uh, product that has this and like 30 other tools. I think it's like 24 or something at this point. Uh, Curvify is gonna be available on Blender Market and Gumroad. Get it before I increase the price. I've already done one price increase from 20 to 30. It's still selling, so I might increase it even more. But I'm continuously adding stuff to it. So thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one.